Good morning to you all. Hope you're having a nice Yom Tov. Well, here we are in Shenley Orchard. The opportunity to make a bracha once a year. The Gemara says, quote in Shulchanach, one who goes out in the days of Nisan, the fries blossom from fruit trees, makes a special bracha. It's in the brachas in the Art Scroll Siddur as well. Beautiful bracha where we thank Hashem for creating not just the necessities, but for the beautiful luxuries and the wonderful gifts that he shows us in the world. That Hashem didn't have to create such beauty and such detail. But Akash Baruch Hu did it. He didn't lack anything in this world just because he wants to give us, Hanoi wants to give us pleasure to do such a thing. Hashem took us out in the month of Nisan, Chag Aviv. This is called the spring. Chag Aviv stands for Av Yud Beis, the father of the 12. We know this is the beginning of the year. It's the new beginning. It's a renewal for the nation, for the Jewish people, the birth of Jewish people. And here we have an opportunity. Why in Dafka during this time do specifically do we make a bracha on the blossom during this time? I think maybe one of the reasons is a Kosh Baruch is saying, I'm giving you everything. I'm making a beautiful world for you. Not just what you need, but oh, such a world full of luxuries and physical pleasure, beautiful, beautiful animals. Every such, so much detail in nature from this, when the sunrise, the sunset, the stars, the moon. Everything in this world, everything we need, a healthy body, so many gifts that we're given. Akshem does it with such beauty and such uh, uh, awe. And of course, Baruchu is showing us how, how much he loves Kalal Israel, how much he loves every single youth. And therefore, our response back to him is that we say to you, our first brother, say, new beginning, that we have an opportunity to blossom this world, that when we do a mitzvah, we serve him, how we honor our parents, and how we shine and glow and work and perfect our midas, and how we do our mitzvahs, how we learn our Torah, that everything we do, we're going to shine and blossom and be fruitful and do it in the most beautiful way that we can. Enhance every mitzvah, spend a little bit more to make our Shabbos more beautiful, when we're learning Torah, to buy an extra special pen to write down our questions and answers, not just as our Shashiva, with Yank Lerentroy, Shalita, Shabikazunta Stark said, don't you use a biro, use a Parker pen, a good quality, when we do a mitzvah to sew it, it's beauty, to show Hashem back. And this is what we say in the Shema every day, the Shachris and Marif. Before we declare the Shema, we always finish, Hashem says, I chose the Jewish people with love. And it's the same thing in Mara if we say, Hashem says, Oy hev amo Yisrael, I love your people of Israel. Then we say Shema, and then what we turn back and Hashem says, I love Israel, we say, Oh, to es Hashem lekecha, that I love you, Hashem. Hashem, you love us, we love you. It's a double relationship. And this is as we betrothed, Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim. The Chazal say we betrothed in Mitzrayim, we got engaged, and we look forward to the Chasana, but as Hashem on Shavuos, when Hashem gives us the most beautiful gift, again, the renewal received from the Torah. But during these days of the Oymah, this renewal, to, it's to see and appreciate the beauty Hashem has given us, we, it's an opportunity for us to relaunch again our acceptance of the Torah Mitzvah and to serve Him in the most beautiful way, the best we can, and be fruitful and blossom with good health and radiance. Have a good Amoyed and a good Yom